little elite taking over the channel. ¿Qué más, papi? ¿Qué más? No. ¿No? ¿Vas a decir más para la introduction? ¿Sí? ¿Va? ¿Va? ¡Vámonos! ¡Vámonos! ¡Vamos a comprar manga! ¡Vámonos! ¡Vámonos! Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have a pretty cool video for you guys. I'm gonna go manga hunting at a Barnes & Noble, which I don't usually do. I know for a while I was doing some vlogs, but uh, I mainly stick to write stuff. I love getting my, my manga for a great deal. So most of the time I get most of my manga from write stuff, which make sure to check out my affiliate link down below. If you guys do use that, it does help support the channel and future giveaways. Uh, plus write stuff is gonna be having their summer sale here pretty soon. If you guys haven't heard of Write Stuff and their summer sale, that's usually when they have the best prices for your manga and anime needs. So definitely check them out. That starts June 26th. But yeah, today we're gonna go manga hunting at my local Barnes & Noble because I have this card right here, which was gifted to me by Mayube, an uh, awesome YouTuber. If you guys haven't checked her out, I'll put a link to her channel down below. Uh, recently, she did host a private sort of game night which was really fun and I did end up winning the game that night. Uh, surprise to me was that she was actually gonna be giving some gift cards away. So so she sent me the gift card. We're gonna open it up here on screen and we're gonna see what's included in here. All right, cool. So I think I did, I do remember her sending me a picture of this. So she sent me a little picture that she hand drew of Saitama. Uh, pretty funny because this was the character that I used at the end of the game to actually win the whole thing, which I don't want to explain the details of the game just because I don't know if she ever plans to release the video or future videos because we are going to be having a, a game night in the future. Uh, so, yep, this is what she sent me right there. I'll put a, a close up so you guys can take a look at it. But yeah, it just says, okay, congrats. Opening it up, we have a Barnes & Noble, ooh, $50 gift card. That's pretty generous. Like I said, I wasn't expecting anything. So the fact that I just got a gift card is pretty awesome. So it just says, congratulations on winning Manga Super Fight Elite. So just a little teaser as to what the game is. And that's it. So yep, really cool little card. I am gonna be putting this guy for now. I'll put him right here. Um, but he may move in the future somewhere better. We'll see. Uh, so yeah, we got the gift card. Uh, we're going to go shopping with this. And I'm going to be taking my son, as you guys see, saw. He's probably around here in the video. Uh, so, so let's do this. Uh, oh, and by the way, I got this new, awesome new shirt that Mrs. Elite got for me recently. I don't know if you guys can see it with my son's head in the way. But, but I really like this. And let's go manga shopping. So just made it here to the Barnes and Noble. Um, have fifty dollars to spend, so we're gonna. I'm gonna try to see what I can spend it on. Cause honestly, I thought I was gonna get a twenty-five dollar gift card, and I knew two things that I wanted to get, which that should have been good for that. But now, I have to think about some more stuff to get. So let's go inside, see what there is, and we'll pick something up. Yeah, we got little mini elite back there. He's he's just chilling, watching some movies on his little tablet. So yeah, let's go inside. Oh. Yay! Let's go to the Barnes & Noble. This is the same one that we came to last time, if you guys remember. So, yeah, we'll see. I'll try to record inside as much as I can. Mini Elite's having fun. Uh-oh. Uh and maybe you guys can see my shirt through the reflection. Not really. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Where are you? Where are you going? Vamos, vamos para la manga. Vamos para la manga. Vamos a buscar la manga. To the right, right, this way. Para acá. Vamos. Derechito. You remember this spot? You were running around last time too. Vale. Y 
¿Ya encontraste una? ¿Es yours? ¿Cuál es? A ver. ¿Es yours? Ok, you keep it. Yo voy a buscar, I'm gonna look for mine, ok? Oh man, hopefully they have the exclusive one for the last volume here. We're gonna be looking for that. <laughs> Alright, so I actually forgot to look at these tables here and they have Chainsaw Man 11. Definitely gonna be taking this one. I already have it on Right Stuff order, but I wanna read it, so I'm gonna take it from here too. Cheese. Nothing really of interest here. All pretty much light novels. So yeah, I'm gonna skip all of this. I like my books with pictures. Looks like this table has all of the new releases. This one looks pretty interesting. Summertime rendering. I have the hardcovers on pre-order at Right Stuff. Oh, get puzzle puppy. And oh, Sakamoto Days Volume 2. Parks was defending the heck out of this one on the, the game night. Pretty funny. Whoa, first time I ever come and I have the manga section all to myself so let's take a look at everything here oh, wow they actually got the akira box set pretty cool i've never seen that at the barnes and noble i'm not gonna talk about everything but i'll show you guys what they have nope doesn't listen to me Is this the newest box set of Attack on Titan? I haven't seen this artwork. But I'm not too sure to be honest. Oh, they do have the uh, best of in the full color edition. Pretty cool edition. Uh, this is what we got here on the second shelf. I already got my Chainsaw Man. Ooh, crazy food truck. I've been hearing a lot of things about that one too. Oh, it says here, Mad Max meets Delicious in Dungeon. I do like me some Mad Max. I'm not sure about Delicious in Dungeon, though. Let's keep going down. They got Death Note. Oh, I haven't gotten the new one. Perfect time to get this one. Definitely getting this one. Awesome artwork. What? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Ya estás cansado? No? ¿Ten? ¿Quieres agarrar mi manga? No? Okay. Then Demon Slayer down there. Third shelf, Berserk, more Demon Slayer. Uh, Doro que Doro, DBZ. Nothing that stands out. Oh, here's another one. But man, I don't know. I don't know if I want to get manga that's in the $20 range. So I might not be picking this one up. I'd rather get as much as I can. So let's keep looking. Fairy Tale, Fire Punch. Oh, I just remembered. I skipped one over here. They have Call of the Night, and I actually never did order Volume 5, if you guys remember, so I will be taking this one as well. $9.99. Awesome covers. Fourth shelf, more deluxe editions, Full Metal Alchemist, Girl in the Arcade, some happiness. You guys need to pick that up if you're sleeping on it. Uh, nothing of interest here. What is that? Junji Ito's Cat Diary? That looks interesting. Yo, I've never seen this either. What the heck is this? Sales at work? Box it. What the heck? All right, continuing. We got JJK, Kaiju number eight. Uh, whoop. Uh, All right, last shelf on this wall. What do we got here? Some more Junji Ito, Mashal, Man and His Cat, Mob Psycho, that looks like a new volume there. And then we got a bunch of My Hero, Naruto. Do you have puppy? Yours? Okay. Um, nothing of interest here. Uh oh. Uh, no, no. 
This looks pretty cool. Art of Hal's Moving Castle. Always been tempted to buy that one on Right Stuff. One Piece, One Punch Man. Paradise Kiss. Pokemon. Oh, we got another uh, Studio Ghibli art book, art book right there. The shirt that I'm wearing. Into Girlfriend. Sailor Moon. This one looks pretty cool, but not too into Sailor Moon like that. Got some more Sakamoto Days. Saving out of football. Last manga shelf here. These are much more intriguing for Sailor Moon. Those look pretty nice. Uh, this is an awesome hardcover. I do have that one. I really like it. I think it looks pretty nice. Uh, some Junji Ito. Man, Junji Ito is all over the place. Uh, solo leveling Spy Family. You guys have to check that one out if you haven't, especially the anime. Uh, sweat and Soap. I haven't seen the one that I came to look pick up. I'm gonna have to look for it in closely once I'm done recording here. Oh, new volume of Time Stop Hero. I only have up to volume three. So let's maybe check this one out. What are you doing, puppy? What are you doing? Check out the mess Aizen's been making. Just stacking manga on top of manga. Uh-oh. No cabe, papi? Ya no cabe? No, ya no cabe? Tienes que ponerla acá? Tienes que ponerla aquí? Esa ni es manga? That's not even manga. Where'd you get that from? Yeah, yeah. Perfect. Perfect. All right, time to go. Vámonos, papi. Vámonos. Let's go. Come on. Heisen, come on. Thank you. Papa? Papa? We're done. Time to go home and put this little guy to sleep. See you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so we're back from Barnes & Noble. And I don't know how I feel about these white bags. I honestly miss the green bags. I don't know why. I think that just fit Barnes & Noble better. Um, but yeah, this is what I got. Um, you guys, with the $50 gift card that Mayube gave me, I was only able to get three volumes of manga, which is pretty crazy because I'm pretty sure... Um, I could have gotten a lot more from Right Stuff with $50, but regardless, that's what I was able to get. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I usually don't shop at Barnes & Noble, just because it's so much more expensive than Right Stuff. But regardless, thanks Mayube, thanks you, thank you for the gift card, uh, and thank you for supplying me these manga, which one of them I was super excited to get. Um, I was able to find the one that I couldn't find when I was going through the shelves at Barnes & Noble. So I'll go ahead and show you that one at the end. That's the one that I'm most excited about. First off, I'll talk about the ones that you guys saw in the video, which one of the ones that I told you guys I was for sure going to get was this Death Note short stories collection. Um, I had to get this one, the cover. I mean, it looks amazing. I'll show you guys some close-ups of it. But I'm, honestly, I think this is probably my, the best Viz Sig that I have. I've never seen another Big Sig look quite as nice as this one. Uh, you also got those French flaps, really nice. And on the back, we have another really nice image there on the back as well. Pretty much the same as the front, except we can see Ryuk's face there, uh, which, oh, it also has some, some glossy effects back here. I didn't notice that. Damn, it's just really nice overall. So yeah, really cool to have gotten this one as well. Thanks Mayube for that manga volume right there. Next one that I picked up is Call of the Night volume five. Uh, now, I had volume 11 of Chainsaw Man 
But while I was in the store, I looked at my orders and Rice Stuff has actually already shipped that one out. So I decided to put that one back and pick this one up instead. It's so crazy to me that I didn't already pick this one up considering I am picking up the series. I don't know how I missed picking up volume five. So yep, super happy to have this one. I actually already read volume one and I enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty good. So I personally though like vampire stories. So that might be one of the reasons why I enjoy it. But yeah, so far I like it. Can't wait to continue it. I'll give you guys some more of my opinions on my reading blog, which I do plan to do one pretty soon. All right, and the last one, which is the one that I was most excited about, and I only found one volume at the Barnes & Noble, so I'm glad I was able to find it. Um, I don't know how I missed it though, because it's pretty thick boy. Uh, to be honest, I didn't remember the title. When I was there, I was like, what is the name of that new Shuzo Oshimi manga? And I couldn't remember, so I had to look it up, and then I went back, looked at the Ds, and I found it. Um, so, yep, really cool. Um, I love Shuzo Oshimi. You guys know that I'm an Oshimi fanboy. So I had to pick up his latest series, uh, Devil Ecstasy Volume 1. These were the three items that I was able to pick up, added up exactly to $50. Uh, Devil Ecstasy was 25 bucks. I said I wasn't gonna pick up anything over 20, but this was the exception. Uh, Call of the Night was 10 bucks. And Death Note Short Stories was 15 bucks. So this added up exactly to 50 bucks. Um, I probably could have gotten more like single volumes like this one, maybe five of these. That would have been nicer, but I I wanted to pick this one up and I really wanted this one as well. So that's what it ended up. So yeah, this is what I ended up getting. So again, make sure to subscribe to my Uve. Uh, with that, I will go ahead and end the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short vlog. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm going to go read me some devil ecstasy Let's see what do we got in here holy crap the artwork is pretty crazy whoa all right